Hey, what's going on? Today I'm going to be replacing the Harman Kardon Onyx Studio 3 battery. I've had this for five or six years now. It just broke about a year ago, or I mean the battery stopped working. So it doesn't hold a charge, literally dies right away. So it's not portable anymore. The speaker is ridiculous. I haven't heard of any portable speaker that's more powerful than this or that sounds as good. It's a really good design. So that's why I want to fix it up. I found online this replacement last weekend. Harman Kardon replacement, wireless Bluetooth speaker. I was happy I found this because I thought this speaker was only gonna be able to be connected to the wall and I would never be able to bring it out again so, so that's cool this battery is only about 22 bucks so that's pretty cool so inside the box you get the battery itself lithium ion battery pack 3.7 volts this is 3200 milliamps hour and the previous one is I believe 2400 milliamp We'll see when I open it up. So you get the battery. Also in the box. Comes with some tools. Comes with the screwdriver you need. Like a hex bit. Also comes with some foam, sticky foam, I'm guessing for the battery. Also some type of pry bar. I'm not sure what this is for yet, but we'll see. So first, first things first is uh, you take off this front face cover. This comes off just like that. two tweeters, two other speakers and a sub. It's, I love this speaker. So first thing, you're gonna take your screwdriver, and you're gonna remove one, two, three, four, five screws. I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got done screwing the five screws. And now we have two of the pieces separated of the speaker. This is the front side of the speaker. Here you got your two front speakers, see? And then you have your back side. There's your Harman Kardon logo. Oh. So in order to do this, I had to disconnect. These three cables. So this is going to be your USB, your power, and right here is the battery pack uh, wire. So I'm going to go unscrew this, this, and this screw, and I'll get right back to it. So when you take off the cover, you're going to notice that there's a battery and it has those foam strips wrapped around the battery. So I'm gonna copy that as well. There's one in the bottom and one at the top. And you'll also notice there's this rubber grommet that's keeping all three wires in place. And has a little slit here that corresponds to this little groove right here. So the wires don't move around. There's no way to take that off without splicing it. So what I'm gonna do carefully is take my utility knife make a slit right here so I can wrap it around the new wire so it can easily fit right back into there so like I said before also it's not a 2400 milliamp hour it's 2600 so we're going to be replacing this one the 2600 one with the 32. 
So we'll be getting 600 more milliamp hours. So it should last longer when it's portable. I'm gonna go do that right now and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I just finished wrapping this new battery up with the foam. This is the old one. It's the new one. I noticed that they didn't use this, the same gauge wiring. This is a little thicker. That's the only thing I'm disappointed with. I couldn't take off this foam for the wire. I tried to, but it was ripping, so I'm just gonna go without it. But I managed to splice that in the middle, get that wrapped around these wires. I put the foam that came with the battery around the bottom and the, t the top and the bottom end of the battery. And then there's a circle piece of foam that I took off of this battery and I just placed it right back on this battery. So to put it back in, the letter side down. Put the grommet back in. Put the wires in there. Get this cover. This cover has a seal around it as well. This thing is really well built. Goes back on like that. Then I'm going to be putting these three screws back on. It's kind of hard to do one hand. I'll get right back. Okay, so I have all the three screws connected again. Have the grommet connected right there. Three wires coming out. We got the USB and the power cable. And I'm gonna be connecting it right back onto this. I'm gonna connect it and try to show you the wiring. Okay, so we have the two covers right here. This is the back. So you have the power, the USB, power, USB, then you have the battery wire. Battery wire goes right here. The power goes right here. And then the USB wire goes right there. I'll try to connect these using one hand. So first things first, you got the battery wire, which will be clicks in right there. Next, we're gonna grab the black wire, which is the power. That's gonna be clicking in right there. I don't know if you can see. Last but not least, it's kind of dark in here now. You have the USB wire, and that's going to be clicking in right there. So all three wires are connected. You can close it up again. And I'm going to screw it back on. And I'll get back to you. All right, so I just screwed in those four, five screws again. It's all connected. The old battery. This tool I never used. The knife I used to cut the grommet screwdriver and then the foam. Put the cover back on. Let's 
see if it works. Thanks for watching.